Um, just that it's just Koromara wants to watch TV. Which will do nothing for me. So I'm going to get some more money for New Game Plus. I went complete. Uh, I went to the. I went to the police station just out of habit. <laughs> I sweated out while working part time as a waiter. Even though I'm a barista, I would be waiting tables if I were a waiter. A, custom, uh, a customer called me over and praised my service. A drunken businessman tried to pick a fight with me, but I did my best to deal with him. Hey, I didn't have to uh, deal with any Karens today. I can hear people talking. I'm so sleepy. It's been so cold that it's actually painful to leave the comfort of my bed. I'm starting to think that living in life with apathy syndrome would be easier. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? I could sleep all day and people would uh, uh, get all concerned for me. You are not thinking this through if, uh, if, if the prospect of being comatose sounds appealing to you. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should uh, get apathy syndrome, at least for a little while. It's a condition! It's a medical condition! It, you don't have control over whether you get it or not, and when it goes away! How are you this stupid? Teenagers, I know. Medicine, I need to speak with you right now, if possible. Thank you very much. Isn't it interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view. But no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day. And to each life as well. The promised day is almost here. January 31st. You're right. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san. And Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death. Somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people. But life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable. It's sad to think about. But you and I will have to part one day as well. And then... I'll never be able to see you again. There are so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others forge relationships, and spend time with them. And then, they're gone, leaving you behind, leaving you alone. <sighs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings. 
but I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. And it might be the true joy of being alive. It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. Um... I... I... love you. I know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. I can sense a strong affection to Morsme. I better choose my words carefully. I love you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. <laughs> yes! <laughs> they made her the true romantic social link! You could never respond and, and, uh, like the, uh, in the previous versions of the game. Because her social link was only added at an FES, so uh, you know, she was never planned to be a romantic social link. But she falls in love with you and her social link anyway, so it only made sense for them to uh, finally make it romantic! I love you too! I'm sorry. I can't think of anything to say. Perhaps something really has broken inside of me. I feel so happy. <laughs> Igus has expressed her feelings for me. I have entered a special relationship with Igus. Oh, the stars are now hearts! Because we're in a relationship now! That's a neat little detail. There's no going back now. Um, we should go back. <laughs> yeah, it is clever. <laughs> and I would never have... <laughs> it, it's too difficult to look you in the eye right now. I would never have seen that in this playthrough. <laughs> There's no going back now. <laughs> we should go back. Oh, I did not notice that. <laughs> We decided to go back to the dorm separately. I am so happy. I am so freaking happy. You have no idea. Yes. He seems to be saying we will win. Okay. Yes, I agree. We will win together. Excuse me. Koromari san is proud and is a proud and splendid teammate. If you tend, uh, if, if you intend to go to Tartarus, please please consider him at, consider adding him to the combat party. Karamarison and would be greatly pleased. Lies, lies, and slander. He clearly said arf. <laughs> yeah, but she understands dog speak. I can feel a, sen uh, a strong sense of determination from Karamaru. 
<laughs> it still slays me that uh, it's like Fukuramaru's voice, uh, uh, Fukuramaru's voice acting. They didn't get a, um, they didn't get vocals of an actual dog. They just had a voice actor uh, make dog noises. <laughs> A 50-year-old housewife was in implicated uh, in bank fraud. When questioned, and she said a man calling himself Nix's son forced her to do it. Huh. <laughs> Reminds me of shit I heard when Pokemon was, as, uh, was demonized. Huh. Spend time with Ken? Go to work. Because we don't really have any social links. Things to do at night. Champ. Now things are getting exciting. Get him, Amada. My promise was to Amada. We heard you two were going to have a match. We're just here to witness it. <laughs> okay, so Akihiko's probably here uh, uh, because he's interested in seeing where this goes. Because, uh, uh, because, as uh, he's, as, uh, uh, because, as uh, he's definitely ace. <clears throat> Jump Payday over there is probably here uh, to watch me beat up on a kid. That's right. We're here to watch the little dude shine. When I told them I wanted to beat you, they all offered to help. I set up a <laughs> his ass. <laughs> Gave him advice on his movements. I also wanted to build my legs and core, so I've been going on runs with Koromaru. And I took on the role of being you for practice matches. You let him beat you there to a pulp? <laughs> Koromaru. I figured if he couldn't land a hit on Junpei, then beating you would be out of the question. <laughs> but hey! Spare a thought for the guy covered in bruises over here. <laughs> Man, he really didn't hold back anything on me. <laughs> well then, let's do this. Yeah! <sighs> You're doing good, Amada. Keep it up. You can do this. Just take it half a step further. It goes full CG anime cut scene of you doing a 17 hit combo. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if that was if that was a, th as a thing. No hard feelings. Hey, are you guys up there? <laughs> <laughs> That's just what he did to me. He duffed me while I wasn't looking. Oh, oh yeah. That's a clean hit. The winner is Amada in the blue corner. I would say that uh, I would say that bullshit and it shouldn't count, but this is practice for actual fighting, so moves like that are fair game. <laughs> I just got lucky. Plus, I did kind of cheat. No, you saw a window of opportunity and you took it. That's something to be proud of. For a healthy competition, and it's bullshit. But old fair and love and war. <laughs> yeah, we are pre. Uh, pre uh, I bought some roasted sweet potatoes. 
<laughs> I was looking for everyone to come eat with us, but we are uh, we are training for a war. What are you guys doing up here anyway? We're witnessing a showdown between men, right, Amada? It sounds kind of weird when you put it like that, but yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it was a great match on both sides. <laughs> We're looking for people to eat with us. Uh, <laughs> you're uh, fighting a child? <laughs> huh? I don't really get it, but it sounds like you're having fun. It's cold, though, so you should head inside soon. Oh, wait. Did you say sweet potatoes? Kill me in. I bought them for a monocoon. Junpei, you can have the skin and the burnt parts. Hey, what am I, a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the match. I learned a lot from it. You were great. No, I just got lucky. I was stuck on the defensive that whole time. Yeah, they sometimes do that. Uh, they sometimes do that when a line they don't. Uh, they uh, when it's for a line they don't consider is really important. But I think I did do better than our last fight. Now I just need to apply this to a real battle. Technically, we're tied one to one now. So the next match decides the real winner. Not sure I actually have a chance, though. But I hope you'll let me challenge you again sometime. You gotta promise, okay? Okay. Then, until that time comes, will you hold on to this for me? The next match, you're dead. <laughs> Silver key. That's the key to the house I lived in with my mom. Whenever I look at it, I remember the time I spent with her. That house is filled with all kinds of memories we shared together. I know the final battle isn't going to be easy. Clearly a reference to the Lovecraft story. <laughs> Not to be confused with the silver case. <laughs> but no matter what, I want to come back here. I feel like this key will connect us to each other. And I hope Someday, maybe I can be that person someone can always come back to. Just like how mom and everyone at the dorm was there for me. Uh, sorry for talking for so long. Shall we go down and have some sweet potatoes? So our next match would be next year? Or maybe even longer than that. I know! How about once I reach the same height as you? <laughs> and if we're around the same build, I might stand a chance. Oh, but you'll probably be even stronger by then. <laughs> <laughs> when that time comes, I wonder what everyone will be like. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, but you have sour grapes. <laughs> it's exciting just thinking about it. Amada was beaming with happiness as he went and to join the others. Can now fuse Michael, protector of all. Or Mikael. Because that's how that should be read. Because the I-L means of God. Do you have time to talk today? Although I'm not sure I can communicate this properly. Yes! Thank you very much. Would you like... Uh, uh, what, I would like to show you my room. I would like you, uh, you to see how I live. And um, I decided to go to Igus' room. Yeah, this always happens when you... Um, this always happens when you romance a character. They bring you to their room. And yes, this is Igus's room. <laughs> the shells on the floor are only blanks. There's no gunpowder in them. So, what do you think of my room? Are you surprised? To be honest, I was hesitant to invite you here. I don't have any welcoming decorations to make this feel like a home. It's hard to believe I ever thought this room was normal. But that's exactly why I wanted to show it to you. As you can see from the decor, I'm a machine. 
I'll never be the same as humans like Yukari-san or Mitsuru-san. It used to bother me, but I figured something out. There's something only I can say, because I am unable to die. What is it? I will never leave you, no matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be by your side. By the way, in, the, in PvP, she still falls in love with you if you're playing as the female protagonist. So, canonically, I guess is bisexual. Or pansexual. You will always remain <clears throat> in my heart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? Charred screw. That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I've grown since then. I'm not afraid, and I won't give up. I'll get back up, no matter how many times it takes. I'll fight by your side and protect you. This is the proof of my resolve. And I want you to have it. It's a part of me. If living is about spending time with people you forged relationships with, then I want to be closer to you than anyone else. My connection to you is my reason for living. What's most important to me is to be by your side. Igus has genuine has a genuine smile upon her face. I feel a strong bond with Igus. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Eon Arcana hath been set free. Hey, Mar uh, Miyabi, welcome to the stream. How was your day? Um, if you mean the answer DLC, I think that's already out. But I'm playing on, I'm playing this on, um, I'm playing this on, on um, uh, uh, via, um, whatchamacallit, Xbox Game Pass. So I think I don't get the DLC off the bat. I would have to buy the game. If I do manage to buy the game, then I will uh, I will play the DLC. Rank 10. Well, the Aeon, the Aeon so uh, social link reached its maximum level. You can now fuse Metatron and the uh, the attendant uh, to the infinite. I um actually have one more favor to ask. Base of my neck, behind the knot of my ribbon. I will play the answer if I uh, get the chance, though. You know, I really love the sto the story of the answer when I played it uh, at, um, for FPS, and I want to see how you know, how they, they work uh, with it in this game. That's where my most important component is. The artificial psyche that makes me who I am, my emotional engine. Papillon heart. Oh, Papillon. I always read it as Papillon. It's extremely delicate, and I'm not allowed to expose it outside of the laboratory's clean room. Goes to show how little French I know. <laughs> but I want you to touch it. If you make direct contact with it, your genetic information will most likely be burnt into it. Even so, I want you to do it. Yeah, French for uh, for butterfly, which makes sense because like the symbol of the Persona series is in general has been a butterfly, because but uh, uh, because uh, the butterfly represented a particular character that showed up in the previous Persona games. I want to leave irrefutable proof on my body of our connection, not just as a simple memory, but as something permanent. Some...
Not just as a simple memory, but as something permanent. Something that can never be erased. Thank you. I'm so glad. Please, come closer. <laughs> oh, um... So, uh, does this count as making out? Since you'll be coming into direct contact with my heart, um... Since you'll be coming into direct contact with my heart, <laughs> um... I apologize in advance if I say something odd or make unusual noises. Well then! <laughs> For safety, I'll be shutting off the motor functions to my arms and legs. Well then, um... Will you untie my ribbon? I spent a long time with Igus. I am so glad they made the, uh, this a proper you know, romantic social link. Yo. Yo, what's up? After day, uh, today, it'll be 10 more days until uh, the day Ryoji was talking about, huh? All right, I'm hyped. We're going to blow that next, next thing hang away. Come to the th uh, think of it, the crop... Uh, uh, it's on the rooftop. Should be ready to harvest by now. Maybe I should go check on them. Why does everything seem so you know, faded out suddenly? January 31st. I don't know if I'll be able to pick these up, but... Ah, didn't mean to go to my room. It's weird how washed out the colors look like they, uh, 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 how washed out the colors look like they are. Is this because uh, the, uh, the drawing closer to uh, uh, the day? Well. That's right, man. Koromaru uh, usually only get uh, to eat regular uh, dog food, but it's time for him to give him the good stuff. Yes, Karamari's physical you know, condition and morale would need to be in, in top shape for the final battle. Good thinking, Ikari. Oh, yeah. We gave Karamari-chan um, uh, a special dinner today. He needs to keep up, up his strength uh, for the final battle. After all, uh, after all, uh, look how happy he is. <laughs> what a lucky boy you are, right, Karachan? Eat a lot and get strong, okay? Do you remember that time we ordered sushi? Well, Korochan uh, was the only one uh, who couldn't have any. So I prepped a special dinner uh, tonight uh, just for Korochan. I hope uh, it helps him grow stronger. Uh, and that he uh, likes it, of course. By the way, Didn't Korochan uh, lose his owner because of the shadows? It's easy to forget because he's always so full of energy, but this battle must mean a lot to him. During our live demonstration, a man wearing a bandana jumped up and spoke to the crowd. Nick Sama's descent is real, the man said. After this... Oh, good God. More cult shit spreading. <laughs> yeah, let's just mix that. <laughs> Um, I just want to look at it. I just told me there was one thing. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Doesn't mention uh, that, that I'm actually in a relationship with her now. 
<laughs> I'm afraid I have to get going for, uh, for now. Uh, no, thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for joining us, Lotus. Have a good, uh, have a good day. Um. Get more money for New Game Plus. And we'll start uh, working on uh, other social links um, in the meantime. I sweated out while working part-time as a waiter. I cleaned up efficiently and, and received uh, compliments from other staff members. A drunken business and try to pick a fight. I'll probably do one extra scene in with uh, with Igus later. Let's see, seven, max, I don't think I can do one, um, what's her name now, yeah I can't. Higher, Kenji or Keisuke? Seven. Oh, eight for star athlete. Five. We gotta spend time with Kenji. Dude, this is good. I, 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 I feel like I might grow closer to Tomichiha soon. Thanks. Let's go somewhere we can talk in private. Are you in trouble? Yeah, I, I... Dude, it's bad. I don't know what to do. The school found out about Emiri and me. It blew up and became this huge thing. And now she's being transferred to a school in Kyushu. What do I do? Mm. I know this is what he wants, but I don't want to encourage this.
You should you two should talk it out. Yeah, man, that's what I thought. Except I feel like she's totally avoiding me. It's like all of a sudden she won't answer my calls or reply to my texts. She's probably only doing this to protect me, but still. I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta think of a plan, and I'm gonna need your help. I'll see you soon. Thanks for hearing me out today. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You'll be having your career consultation soon. Have you given it any consideration? Sure have. All right. Good. Speak with confidence when you meet your, with your teacher. Yeah. Your career consultation is next year, right? I've got no advice for you. This is something uh, you gotta, uh, you're gotta you going to have to uh, figure out on your own. If you let someone else tell you what uh, what to do with your life, uh, your life, you might it end up resenting that person if things go south. <laughs> Koromaru-san seems very happy. Dogs too consume food in order to boost their energy levels. Koromaru-san will certainly be ready for the battle. Today's Cantonese is, is, is word is Helene. Helene means pitiful. Uh, are we Helene to be living in this kind of world? Well, that's all for this week. Back to the news. Wow, that was short. And depressing. I guess we'll watch TV with uh, Ken. I know this is kind uh, uh, this is kind of coming out of nowhere, but would you like uh, some coffee right now? Oh, he wants coffee. Not the instant stuff, uh, but with properly ground beans and all that. I say someone uh, I saw someone prepare coffee on a show and and I want to try doing it myself. Mata asked me to join him for coffee. Uh Velasquez on, and if you don't mind and and could you uh, maybe uh, be my taste tester? Sure. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll get started right away. Ugh, the inside of my mouth still tastes all... Uh, I mean, coffee's meant to be taken black, don't you think? It's the only way to experience the natural taste of the beans. Okay, how you take your... Um, uh... How you take your coffee? There is no right way to take it. Uh, I'm uh, I'm sorry. No matter whatever uh, other uh, people all tell you, as long as it's prepared properly, you uh, you can take it uh, however you want. And the real way, the only real way to take coffee is bullshit. Also, I don't really like drinking coffee. It's way too strong for me. My taste buds are way too sensitive. I've said this before. The one from Brazil is very smooth. While the Kilimanjaro one is more sour and full-bodied. You know a lot. <laughs> I read about it in a book. I also learned how to brew it and stuff. But it doesn't taste much different from the instant type. I wonder if the beans aren't good quality. Anyways, sorry for the sudden invite. But they say that drinking coffee can help you relax and concentrate better. I just thought something like that might benefit us in our upcoming battles. And I figured if I could learn to make good coffee, people might find that useful. I'll do some more research. I can tell there's room for improvement. Sorry for asking you to help me clean up, too. 
Please, take the leftovers with you. Although, you might not necessarily like it. Okay, coffee. Sure, I'd prefer my coffee to taste good, but I could do without all the test sips. <laughs> um, it's not that I don't appreciate the flavor. It's just that it's not good for an elementary school kid to drink too much. So, and you seem like someone who'd appreciate a good cup of coffee, like from a cafe. I hope you have another cup the next time I make some. I'll make sure it tastes better by then. <laughs> well then, good night. I can hear people talking. Hey, dude. Our, career con uh, our career consultation is next week, right? Are you planning to go uh, to, univer to a university? Okay. Yep, I'm going to study abroad. Huh? Abroad? This is the first I've heard about that. I'm your boyfriend. You have to tell me stuff like this. Our career consultation is next week. It's been, it's been getting restless uh, out there, huh? Have you uh, all seen those flyers at the station? None of that stuff has any substance, though. You can tell there's no, no uh, certainty in what they say. That's all. That's right. It's a matter of probability. Uh, hey, don't give me those looks. The end of the world? Let's discuss the odds. So, as you can see, it's impossible to irrefutably prove that the end of the world is nigh. That means there's no reason to worry about uh, uh, to worry about it. Instead, take a good look at the elegance of this proof. <laughs> I love this guy, honestly. Just his passion for math is kind of, you know, awesome. Numbers are truth, and truth is beauty. Even in a, in, if the world ends, numbers will remain. Even if humans vanish as taking mathematics with them, the concept of, of, of numbers won't disappear. Numbers will outlast humanity, I guarantee it. So fascinating. I do kind of love that the teachers aren't buying into the bullshit out at uh, the end of the uh, world. Well, the, and they all have their own, and, uh, their own uh, like, uh, passion and, and making sure that. Nope, she's not here. Emperor is eight. Disciplinary Committee's forecast report. Next up is the Treasurer's report. Yes. Hey, sorry, but I was hoping you had some time once this meeting's over. We can talk up on the roof. I'm sorry to drag you up here, but I wanted to tell you something. The cigarette butt incident is going to be dropped. It seems interrogating every student in the school raised a few concerns. I wanted to be student council president next year, and that teacher promised to endorse me if I agreed to help him. But I lost any hope of achieving that when I spoke up against him. Not to mention the student body isn't so fond of me. I mean, you stood up for what you believed in. I rambled on about rules and fairness, but all I really proved was that I was desperate for power. <laughs> What matters is you realized it. I see. Now I understand why the 
president asked you to join the student council. You don't say things to put people down. You're just honest with them. The system only works if you have people's trust. And trust isn't something you can force on anyone. When that teacher doubted you, I felt backed into a corner by a fool who simply had more power than I did. I felt like the truth was being distorted and that I might lose a friend as a consequence. If it wasn't for you, I would have become a tyrant. So, thank you. Odagiri seems truly grateful. I feel like we've become better friends. Don't you dare repeat what I just said to anyone. I realize it's out of my usual character. I'm sure everyone would just make fun of me. So just promise, okay? I'll see you later. I part ways with Odagiri and went back to the dorm. Oh, it's you. Welcome. Oh. Career consultation, huh? Why do we have to do this, uh, this crap right before battle? Damn it, I've got too much on my mind. You think I can just skip it? <laughs> Not a chance. As an anti-shadow weapon, I did what was ordered of me. There was always someone uh, dictating my actions, my choices. So choosing what I want to pursue for my own future will be a new experience for me. Though it may be difficult, I'll do my best. Uh, so please do the same, Mad Madison. Entrix exams are looming for the city's student population. However, the cult, uh, with the cultists around, please be careful. Good advice. How are uh, the root uh, uh, planters don't, you know, going? The quality of the proteins might improve if I can... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Huh? There are white spots on the leaves here. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? How did the book say to fix it? Oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? We just need to cut off the white parts and... <gasps> That's right! Vinegar! It's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas. I'll go get some from downstairs. I tend to the rooftop planters with Fuka. I think that's about everything we can do. We picked up the fallen leaves, and the air circulation is good now, too. Everything should be fine now. All that's left is to trust they can recover. Thanks to the care we put in, it looks like this will be a big harvest. Help it again sometime. <laughs> 